Welcome back to the Bumper Breakfast. Yes, uh, we're here and we're talking about uh, identifying domestic child predators. Joining us this morning on the Bumper Breakfast is Auntie Wemi, Wemi Mo Adepi, a cognitive behavior therapist. And uh, I like to call her a child advocate because everything she does is about women and children. Good morning, Auntie Good Wemi. morning. Are you doing namaste? Namaste. Namaste. Can you see she's singing for you? Yes, so eh, Auntie Wemi. Eh? Child educator. <laughs> children. <laughs> Do you know I really don't hospital. like that word therapist? Why? I don't know. Because it looks but as if you are doing therapy for people. It's okay. That's what the uh, that's what the office entails. That's the name. Whether you like the name or not, that is what is in the office. <laughs> you don't have to like it. We just tell you how our stories are. Uh. Let's take a look at the story on the front page of uh, the Guardian newspaper this morning. Page 12 talks about two yellow prints mm -hmm. that were defiled in River State. Mm -hmm. Operatives of Puff Adder Tactical Unit of River State Police Command have rearrested two boys, aged 16 and 19, of the same parents for defiling two yellow twins in Port Harcourt. The mother of the twins, Achinuhu Clement, who made the disclosure called for justice to be served on the suspects. Narrating how she discovered her children had been defiled, she explained that while dressing her son on the 10th of January, she noticed the baby could not sit properly. Mm -hmm. Upon interrogation, the baby in children language mentioned the name of her brother-in-law, age 16, who lives with them as the person who touched his anus. Now, according to her, she immediately took her children to the hospital for examination alongside her son. She alongside checked her daughter and discovered that the amen of the child was also broken. Hmm. Clarence said she made an entry to the Puff Adder Tactical Unit and the suspects were arrested but later released. She expressed happiness that the suspects have been rearrested because she wants justice for her children. Hmm. They are our brothers in law. Okay. In with them. Sixteen year old. A child <laughs> himself. A teenager yeah. himself. You, you, you know um, a nineteen year old and another older teenager. And another teenager. You see, um no parent would imagine having their child ripped, hmm. defiled, you know, molested, attempted. Hmm. Okay. You know, because um this is no longer at the level of an attempt mm -hmm. okay it's certain, okay done and confirmed by the and hospital. Um, the next thing you hear is we want justice mm -hmm. you see justice is just like a medicine after death yes. it's it the situation was actually preventable if only okay um the parents I'm not talking about this particular situation. Mm. I want to talk well, generally. generally now. A predator could be anybody. With, with the situation we are having in the world today, a predator is always known to the child and close to the family. Mm. So um, when you have an individual around you, regardless of whosoever the person may be, don't say it cannot happen yeah. don't say uh this person cannot do it in my field i have seen parents biological parents you know defile their own children yeah mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> cases i have handled mm -hmm. yeah three daughters in my go uh -huh. mm -hmm. so what, what are, are we talking two about daughters, three. you can't rule it out that predators are not known to the family no mm. so if you're going to talk about identifying them you must first be able to um come to terms with it that these predators are close by and Who available the within your environment is you don't know so parents need to wake up Stop living in denial and stop living as it an ignorant individual mm -hmm. and say they are not here. 
excuse me, they are everywhere. everywhere. They are close to you. They are in your family. Let me put it that way. They mm -hmm. are around your children in their school. Okay? In the places you drop them. So it's high time parents began to see the need to wake up and stop saying it, it's not my portion. It can never happen to mm -mm. me. It's not my portion in Jesus' name. But then in a case like this, yeah, I want to know if it's actually preventable. Uh, would you, uh, you know, <laughs> think that my brother-in-law can actually do this to my children? Mm. You know, you, you don't conceive thoughts like that. You shouldn't as a person. Okay, um, the truth is, with the way things are now, I've said it before now, that it could be anybody. A predator, you know, they don't look it. Hmm. But they have the signs. Now, before you start looking out for the signs... Before you start checking up on your child, accept the reality they are around you. It could be anybody. Because um, we live in very terrible times where you have them everywhere. Now, um, in many times, okay, um, um, predators are actually people known to you. I, I keep saying this. 90% of the time uh, but they are usually hidden in plain sight hmm. they are your environment they are your environment but you are not seeing them mm. but there are As signs are. there are signs to look out for now one thing I want us to know is that a, a predator file doesn't do this emotionally it's not emotionally attached to your child so you cannot deal from the zone of emotion say mm. I am your relatives Mm. I'm your relative. I am your brother. Okay? Or this person is my in-law. No. You have to be logical about it. You have to be smart. And you have to think ahead. Mm. Now, when you think ahead, it's easier for you to put uh, uh, measures in place. Safety measures. Ahead before it happens. Basically. Mm. And now, um, like we, like we all know... Um, um, part of the way, one of the ways they do this is, um, you know, okay, let me establish that. Children who are between the ages of 0 and 18, okay, three major areas where they spend their lives, school, gadget, and home. Religious houses. Yes, okay, the religious houses. Okay, Four places. We have that, okay. I'll add it to what Tommy said. The Four religious places. houses. It's not actually for everybody. School, no, okay. those are cases because um, mm. a Christian child. I, I used to know of a family whom the ch their mother works in a school, mm. and the children don't go to the same school, so they go to church to wait for their mother. Okay. After school, so they leave school. Mm -hmm. Their sister brings all of them to, to church, church to wait. Why for was that? Because home. the daughter was actually old enough. But when she used to allow them to go home and the daughter stays with the brothers, their neighbor was praying on the daughter. Mm. Mm. So she started bringing the daughter and the kids. So she tells her, take your brothers and bring all of you to church. So when she finishes from work, she goes to the church, she picks her children, mm. and then the children were also... I don't want to say what happened in the church. <laughs> we also have a case of the little girl, mm -hmm. the little five-year-old girl whose mother... Um, when they're coming from school with her younger sister goes to Ileke to go and stay. The mother sells wares. So when she's coming from the market, she picks them up and she takes them home. Hmm. The man is currently in prison. The affair is currently in prison hmm, for violating that, that five-year-old girl two, three years ago. It was yeah. a celebrated case here in Lagos. He violated her so much they caught him. Mm -hmm. With the girl on the table. Mm -hmm. hmm. We need to, you say, we need to start uh, uh, um, handling this issue of predators with uh, a sense of emergency. You don't say it cannot happen. Mm. Okay. We pray it doesn't happen. Mm. But the people these things are happening to are human beings like you. And okay. I... So we need to wake up. So let me also add to the list. Schools, homes, uh, religious, religious places. places, and 
how do I put it? I want to say the gadgets. Mm -hmm. We have had situations where, um, you know, um, the children between the ages of zero and 18, they are in categories. But the gadgets actually are the places where they get them groomed. So when you talk about identifying um, where and how, you have to ask your child. Or as a parent, you have to look into it. Uh, is my child spending too much time on the gadget? Because we've had situations where I have experienced it, where, uh, you know, is a, a case I handled too, where a parent didn't know that her child, okay, was interacting with a pedophile hmm. on the phone. Send me your pictures. This is mine. I want to see what you look like today. Now, before a predator actually attack, because the predator is an attacker, <laughs> before, you know, they mm. familiarize themselves. Mm. Now, if they look at it in the area, because a predator is also a strategist. Mm. He knows or she knows where he's going. Mm. But it's you who you are not <coughs> aware of what is going on. Mm. So they watch you. They monitor you. They see, you know, they look out for loopholes okay and they look out for your values mm. and this is where I, I i will always say as a parent what kind of value do you you know your value is it that you you operate uh this what we call open house policy okay. open house policy is you are open to anybody your home is open to anybody okay you're generous you're kind but the times have changed you, you can't can continue to, to live this way so you must have your values okay do you do sleepover mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not just you, you releasing your child elsewhere do you allow people to sleep mm. over at your place mm. you have to rearrange yourself as a parent basically for the safety of your child now the grooming stage could happen at any time where the pedophile you know look for ways to buy into you they buy into you to get your child okay now when you talk about the area of the gadget and all of that the one of the ways is they no longer um look for ways where they physically attack now they walk their ways in to the child's life through the phones through chatting via exchange of messages they isolate children and you know these days children today they love to be by themselves mm -hmm. as it were mm -hmm. they are on their phones they tell you i'm doing my assignment mm -hmm. but excuse me okay uh we need it's another <laughs> that angle is another mm. area that one needs to and the school into. will not stop giving them assignments that Assign will take them to the internet I, to I, go I don't and have issues with that because internet has come to stay it's going nowhere but these are avenues where they use in perpetrating this evil now i want parents to know that uh, uh it's possible for a pedophile to um, um sexually abuse a child without having a physical contact with your child mm. and that's what we call indirect form of sexual abuse where they send pictures images erotic sexual you know suggestive and they begin to work on the mind of the child. Now it doesn't it won't take much effort <clears throat> for the predator to uh, attack once the mind of the child has been taken over. Hmm. So you have to know what you're doing around your child in the area of the safety of your child. Now, um the signs are always there. It's just that parents are not just aware. The signs are always there. How about if you look at the area where somebody is always particular about gifting your child? Mm. It still comes down to you as a parent, your value. Mm. Your value as a parent. Do you believe in your child? Do you check your child's bags? Mm. Okay. Do you uh, uh, um, audit the wardrobe? Is your child old enough to buy items for herself or himself? you ask questions hmm. now somebody said to me one time okay i related with someone clo not closely like uh, we're chatting just 
And the person called my attention to it and said, be careful with this person. Hmm. Ordinarily, I don't like to, you know, this gossip we're talking and all of that. She said, be careful. She's going to start giving you gifts. Hmm. She's luring you. She's a hmm. predator. Hmm. An adult. So if at my age, somebody could and identify pray. and say this is a prey around you, not a male, a female, mm. then you can tell what that individual is likely to do to, to a, a child. child. So you don't. I can relate. You see, you should <laughs> you can not relate. Right? I can relate. <laughs> so now you're getting the point. All right. So our predators are everywhere. I'm going to say this. But I'm not saying everyone is a predator. So you watch out. Gift. Hmm. Okay. Who gave you this gift? Hmm. Hmm. Then even the gadget. Predators send a recharge unit, credit and all of that to children. Hmm. Where they hmm. say, I can't call. They send to them. Hmm. Now, children love those things. One of the things you need to know is that children, it's easy to get them when you gift them. Hmm. That one actually they the even tricks. give you they, they have special places for you because you are the one that hmm. gifts them certain things exactly <laughs> yeah. so now say <laughs> that nice auntie mommy is that nice auntie that used to give us we want to follow That's her true. and go and do holiday now. you know so uh, uh, a predator could be a male could be a female hmm. so let's stop looking in one direction and say the person is uh, 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 a male wants hmm. to see a male yeah, you know the male is the one who 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 is likely to do it hmm. we're having more females hmm. now more going more. into it because attention is not in that direction so they are doing a lot of things and they seem to want to get away with it so you also you know identifying them they look so harmless but they're close to you and but they are close to you. I was trying to get the video on the, of a particular young woman who sent uh, um, a message to me on Instagram. A 17 year old, as at the time she sent the message to me, she was preyed upon by her huh. uncle, the, the father's younger brother. Huh. So their father died when they were like 12, when she was, she's the first child. When she was like 12 and the younger brother was 10. Now, their mother was not working. The huh. uncle decided to take up. He came to visit, you know, after and mm. said, I will be paying your children's school, school fees. fees. Mm. So he started giving them money for school fees. When the girl clocked 15, she was to write to her heck. Mm. So she goes to his office, usually, as usual, to collect money for her heck form. He gave her the money and said, as soon as she passes work, he's going to send her to the university. Hmm. She made the request that she would also like her mother to be working so that it's, they're not depending on him for both feeding hmm. and education. He said they would look into it. When she clocked 16, she passed work. So she went back to her uncle with her work result to say, uncle, I have passed. You know what he did? Go home, I'll come to the house. So he bought a laptop for her as a gift for passing work in one go. Mm -hmm. You know? And gave her the gift. The mother was impressed. The mother was happy. This is my one brother in law mm. that has been helpful. Apparently, he was just waiting for the girl to get a little bit older. So he now said, Come to the office tomorrow. Let's talk about your jam and choose mm -hmm. the school that you will apply to together. The girl went to the school, to the um, uncle's office. He delayed her very well. She was sitting on the couch in his office. And he delayed her as much as possible until it was almost evening and most of the staff had left work. <laughs> then uncle left his seat, came to sit beside her, and he began the rubbing, small, small, now you're a big girl, now that you're big enough, you know. I've been looking at you, you're getting older, you're looking more beautiful. I see how you're feeling out nicely, blah, blah. But it's already disturbing you, blah, 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 blah. Lo and behold, he raped her on the couch that day. Mm -hmm. And because he had raped her on the couch, he now told her, if you tell your mother what happened, the money I want to give you mm -hmm. for but, um, your mother's 
business okay. and jam and your brother's school fees, you can as well forget it. So the girl became a mistress to a uncle mm. for the length of the university years. Mm. You see the funny part? She was about to finish university and she was honestly tired mm. of being willingly, you know, succumbing to being abused. By her but the man uncle. kept saying he will not pay the brother's school fees. He would stop funding the mother's business. So the girl now came. Why did she open up? We were talking about predators within the family. And she private chatted me on Instagram. And she said, huh. Auntie, this is my story you're sharing. Shared the details and everything and everything, and she said, "Now I won't. I am tired. I've aborted for him three times, uh -uh. and that uh, she wants to stop, but her brother's school fees is there. That he keeps giving the mother like fifty k, so the woman is doing the business. So he will stop giving her money for food. He will give her fifty k uh -huh. for business. Do you understand it? Uh -huh. So the man has been controlling the narrative. Now she's about to do a project, and she needed money for the project." Uh -huh. But the man has refused to give her money for the prayer because for a couple of months <coughs> since the last <coughs> abortion, she refused to go and see. Tony, you see, I am not blaming her or, or something, but I feel this is what my father tells us as a girl child. If you are a girl in our family, everybody knows about this. He will just tell you that if you can't suffer now, mm -hmm. you'll become a predator to someone whether directly or indirectly. What happens to the fact that the first 50,000 that are given to the mother, why can't you work on it? Why can't you even, <clears throat> I'm not encouraging her to do this outside or with someone else. Why don't you just um, put a stop to it at that point? If you keep on saying, I'm not judging her. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say mm -hmm. this, but I just know, <laughs> yes, well, before people say, mm -hmm. you are just, because I've had to experience mm -hmm. things like this, you know, at some point, but not with my own family member, mm -hmm. you know, because of my stature, looking for job and all mm -hmm. of those things. And I feel, okay, if you have to give me this thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have to, you know, do your request on mm -hmm. all of those things. So I started working with a very little cash very little cash mm. so if i feel as a lady or somebody who wants to stand tall and you don't want somebody to say blah 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 about you or your family or put you in that cave mm. just face the mm. problem once and for all you see let me tell you what happened here okay that uncle okay is a predator mm -hmm. the only thing he did was he groomed her mm -hmm okay bought into her bought into the family mm -hmm. and um, um got the trust the mother was able to trust him the girl was able to trust him and uh you know the gift he just played out the scenario mm -hmm. of a perfect predator mm -hmm. now where this you know uh, uh, uh where this is that i can't blame the girl i'm not blaming because her. that individual was her first whatever and usually for most young girls when they are exposed early through this um channel to break away is very difficult hmm. and this person has seen that poverty is at work so he filled in the gap you know and the truth is gift emotion attention mm -hmm. those are the powerful tools of a predator and he used it perfectly well mm. so it's a situation of somebody who is taking advantage of ignorant sets of people mm -hmm. who uh you know uh are, are, are weak mm. and one thing i want you to know is that a predator let's put it as a, an abuser go for the weak ones so he knew they were financially weak there was no strong man in their lives okay there was no one who seemed to be knowledgeable about it to warn them ahead so um the man himself is a predator and if he's still very much alive he is alive. and available 
I think he should be reported and arrested. And you think she will get justice? She you will see, get justice. The Unfortunately, the, is, the mother. The issue of justice, we, we've, we've, uh, we've, we've rated it. But I, I think in this part of the world, they will say that she gave consent. But she was it. A, she was a teenager. She if she could teenager. trace it back and she got she a was good a teenager. human right yeah, lawyer, so she was a teenager. She should be four able. years, five years. No, you know? she was a teenager. See, it started when she was sixteen. She, what all the what way. we're talking about is we're not talking about the moment. We're talking about what you did mm -hmm. then. So I didn't know what you did to mm. me then. Now I it's know. Like Epstein, and the I'm just going back to talk time. About in the UK basically. Now. So we need to uh, we need to know these signs. Okay, people should get to the point where you cannot always, in this time and age, nobody can be your alpha and omega. Mm -hmm. If anyone is in your family, especially if you have a girl child, and the person is proving, excuse me, you need to Watch stand it. your faith. And I even think, until we're at this point, going. I mm -hmm. think most gifts that comes to your children, but adventure your widow, and a gift is coming to your children, or your widower, Let's go yeah. vice versa. Uh, the gift is coming to you, to your children, from family members or neighbors or something, or pastors mm -hmm. in church, or good brethren mm. in, in, the, in the religious sect, whether it's church or mosque. Let the gift go through you. And in case the gift came through, you know, the child and everything, mm -hmm. go directly to the giver acknowledge it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and let the giver know that i appreciate this mm -hmm. but next time i think you should give it to me. to me if the person stops then you know yeah, the person has an change. intention mm -hmm. so okay, we have ways to cover this let, let's <laughs> just open up the phone lines uh, this morning and have you join the conversation 080 the number on the screen is the number to call mm -hmm. to be a part of this conversation remember you can send sms or whatsapp as well to the number and we can uh you know talk to you all right uh, we still have um let me take our first call for today hello good morning <laughs> All right, so what you do, first of all, is you turn down the volume of your TV set before you call us. Uh, do not try. I know you sent a message earlier to say you'd like to be a part of the conversation, but please do turn down the volume of your TV set before you do that. Your name is Wariz. I've seen your message. I've also seen your flash. All you need to do hmm. is call directly after turning down the volume of your TV set. Join the conversation, WhatsApp, SMS, and their phone calls. We didn't know this case of the two-year-old twins hmm. was going to be in the news yesterday hmm. when Before, we were brainstorming yeah. about predators. Hmm. We were still talking hmm. about the issue of the 10-year-old girl mm -hmm. when we talked about this. And we looked at the fact that there are things that happen within your environment. Hmm. Most parents will say, that's why I don't allow my children to go to the neighbor's house anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what when they don't you when go? you don't allow them to go to the neighbor's house no problem do you allow neighbors to come to your space then do you monitor um, um, um their interactions online mm. okay let me tell you something um somebody said something that um if somebody could connect with you anywhere physically electronically and the person derives sexual pleasure mm. then you are attached Hmm. You are going to be attached. So even when your children are not there physically, they might be there electronically. So you have to monitor. Then you have to speak to your children. Make the you know predator talk hmm. open in your home. Hmm. Make it a free conversation. Because we say you make sex talk, make sex education, and the parents are afraid, they shy away from it. From having because those conversations. Because they believe it's not our culture or we were not taught. Okay, they will learn it. They learn it in school, under reproductor, reproductive, whatever, whatever. But the truth is, our predator talk will give a rise to sex talk. Mm. So you talk to them about, uh, you know, unhealthy relationships you talk to them about physical boundaries 
you let them know depending on their age especially when they are approaching the age of seven eight mm. nine ten now what parents need to understand is the moment your child becomes seven mm. six seven the emotions are already developing Developing. let's take this phone call as we continue the conversation hello good morning oh my god all right uh, do try to stay on the line the emotions are developing Mm. now if the child now has somebody who fuels that emotion Mm -hmm. negatively Mm. then you you have already raised another predator Mm. because we have child predator today children Mm. who are predators themselves Mm. okay so we need to um, um rise up to the occasion please turn down the volume of your tv sir hmm. turn down the volume of your tv so that we can have this conversation with you you need to rise up to the occasion as a parent you don't give anything to chances and then you believe it cannot happen now uh, uh they say that um it happens begins from home hmm. out then now it's now you know the same arrow the child doesn't have the capacity to demonstrate sexual erotic um uh, behaviors if mm. no if someone and has not yeah. so you look at it from it from from within get your home your environment uh in place mm. sanitize your environment so sexually mm. okay and then you 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 make it uh, an ongoing communication now let me tell you something predators they 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 they, they try to look around like i said earlier now if your home your relationship with your children is fortified the predators will talk to himself Hmm. and say there's no space there there is no space you cannot do this here Hmm. you see a predator cannot say it's the devil and say i didn't know what i was doing no it didn't just happen he planned it he planned it mm. he's been grooming he he's actually, been strategizing he actually he's actualized been looking for it was in. mature and the moment there is an opening is going to strike mm. so that's why when they are arrested you don't say is the devil mm. no mm. it was a journey you embarked on you got to your destination so you have to begin <laughs> from there did you Sorry, um, <sighs> I want to ask this question. Yes. You know, uh, let me use this word: a uh, serial predator. Mm. Somebody who you know looks out for children, and but it's always a one-time thing. Yeah. Mm. Do they really plan it? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They do. You they know, when you, so when you do something to go from here to here to here. Oh, to hold here. on. When people when people uh, steal, do they really plan it? Hmm. Yeah. Do you think it, 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 it's opportunity that presents the attack they see the opportunity the way you see opportunity yeah. for business is the yeah. way they see opportunity for abuse and then we need to understand that people are consuming a lot of things today that aggravates their unnecessary sexual desire mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so when you say uh, uh, you're an adult or a teenager what's appealing on the body of, of, a child. of the child no the person is not seeing a child the person is seeing satisfaction hmm. so once the person gets to that stage if he's a child i just want to be satisfied hmm. if he's a male i just want to be satisfied hmm. so you don't deal with the person from the angle of ah, ah look at your gap to this then you are not you are not uh, knowledgeable you but need to just see the area we're looking at it from this person asked the question why can't the child report the case why can't mother. children report the case to their mother to their especially mothers. when the children are teenagers a child who has not been taught who has not been educated may not know how to say it then too the kind of parent you are hmm. determines how free your child could come to yeah. tell you hmm. and i want you to know that children are speaking they are speaking up they either say it verbally or non-verbally it is the adult in their lives who is not paying attention. When your child they have body language something they happened. use in telling you something is going on. Something is going on. Mm. At times, they could even imbibe the nature of the abuser. Mm. And then you're wondering, this is not my, my child. child. So you have to probe. You have to watch. Now, it's usually a, a, an influence. Okay. Mm. Now, in the case of children, 
abusing themselves okay it's a form of pressure at that time but the truth is a child cannot fall from uh, 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 from a, a, a uh, you know will not fall too far from whatever it is you have placed him or her on you have to go back mm. and keep checking have you thought the child have you spoken to the child have you educated the child mm. and then as an adult what is your sexual environment as a person mm. what's it like your phones your interactions your association and what you expose the child to mm. you need to also consider that as well all right uh, this one also says um okay uh um, stop hmm. I'm sorry, my name is uh, Otsumba Mayegun. You didn't tell us where you sent the message from. Plus one, plus one should be the UK. Plus one, plus one. No, the UK is plus four, four. So that's plus one should be the US. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're watching on Facebook. Mm -hmm. All yes. right. This US. one, the plus US, one. right? Yeah. All right. Uh, I want to come in about the lady and her uncle. I have questions to ask. Does she tell her mom about what's going on between her and her uncle? If she does, what was the reaction? First thing to build in your children is confidence to the extent nobody, I mean, nobody could determine them from telling you things. I don't think the lady can get justice because of her age. When she was growing up to the extent of graduating, she knew, knows what she was doing. All right. Uh, what if a child is abused and she is threatened? What can the child do about it? So two different uh, mm -hmm. things. Or to my let me uh, just quickly answer your question. Uh, one of the things that we did when she finally told me was that she must open up to her mother. Yeah. And you know she told the mom, and the mom was more like, ah, "What would we do? You will stop paying your brother's school fees. Mm. You know, and you know that my business is not mature enough." To get it <laughs> so the girl came up with a plan on her own to collect money for projects to basically dupe the uncle <laughs> so basically it was more like a negotiation of oh you want me to come i will but you have to give me so so amount of money for my project and my practicals you right. understand the man gave her the money after so much persuasion which she gave to her mother she used to pay her brother's school fees and then she started a very tiny business after it and she stopped but you know making it public the problem they had was the fact that when, even when the mother knew the mother was not willing to make it public because somebody who had been subjugated in the family so much ostracized this was the only person that came to her rescue she practically saw the person as a savior and then felt like the man was tempted by the devil so the daughter was to blame well, if he's not going to get justice at least she would expose him which should have been the because you happened. never can tell how many family members he had done that too. too thank you why should parents have blamed children for uh, the you know happenings like it's this fear and then ignorance and then maybe the parent themselves were also victim of abuse do not soil my name you hear them say stuff like that mm. don't no, soil my name. Name. Yeah. you don't say so things mm. like that. Mm. 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 do you see wrong. mothers who um their daughter was raped and the next thing they do is they take the child into the house they beat her very well they wear fine clothes for her they tell her mm -hmm. don't tell anybody don't tell anybody nobody will know hmm. no it's not done the moment you see abuse um thrives mm. in secrecy you energize abuse when you keep it mute when you blow it open you have killed the you know <laughs> the fire <laughs> basically mm. and um, when you are also going to speak up you know who to talk to mm. it's not something you you need to talk to everyone about mm. you know with the way things are today there are professionals you could talk to who would take it up and know what to do to and most times you know dignity. justice most times may not be jail term no, justice no, no, no. most times is preventing the next person from being abused yeah. and exposing your abuser mm -hmm. but a lot of people feel after all she will not i won't get justice if i report to the police uh she, they're not going to say anything about it they will not be able to do anything because mm -hmm. the evidence is already gone but i do tell you that if you report to the police and say this person is an abuser and you speak up within the environment where the person likely operates yeah. 
before you know what is happening every parent in that environment will take yeah, care at least the fact that you exposed something and then we have sexual offenders now yeah we have a sexual offenders register yeah. now if you report to the police you go to the human rights department or human rights commission in your state go to their mm -hmm. office mm -hmm. report to them you can check online for their phone number report to them they will talk to the ministry once the person can be proven to have abused one person his name goes on that register yeah and so anywhere even when you want to get you know have tenants in your mm -hmm. house mm -hmm. as yeah. an educated person <laughs> you want to get a new tenant into your house go you can the google the person you do a police check ask them to check about the background of the person mm -hmm. and you know who the person is so you will know if your children are actually safe or otherwise if your children are not safe why would you have a tenant who's like going to the police well, character reports. you get it why are you going to have a tenant who's going to likely abuse all your daughters mm -hmm. you have daughters you know some women used to say woman landlord when you have landlady she would not allow any man to be employed in to be um, <laughs> yes, so. taken yes. uh, allowed into the premises because she has daughters forgetting that like you said uh, uh, there are female predators mm -hmm. who use your daughters mm -hmm. they are female they are nice uh, nice auntie they use your daughters as prostitutes to make money yeah and then some of them even introduce them to lesbianism mm -hmm. yeah one thing i want us to know is um it's not just in the area of sexual predators they use children to commit crimes Hmm. So mm -hmm. look for the weaker ones. Hmm. When I say the weaker ones, it's it's um that um the ones who are from weak homes. Oh, okay, the, you see one of the things I want us to know is that these predators they seem to know your children much more than you because they talk to your children much more than you. Because this they are dealing with young... their emotion and the psyche of your child. This person has asked the question that we have not answered. Okay, if, if a child was abused and is threatened, what can we do? I, I guess this person is a teenager. What can we do? If about a child it? was or is being abused, is being abused. abused. This and is, um, what if a child is being, being abused, abused and threatened, and she is threatened? The person can talk to me. What can that child program? do about it? Please, can if you are it. this person, please call this number. Take it down now. Um, the number you just sent this message to call immediately after the program. Mm -hmm. I will send Anti Wemi's number to you. They have a shelter and they have a way of handling mm -hmm. such cases mm -hmm. in collaboration with the government and they will help you yeah. out. So call this number. I'm going to put a star. Call me after I'm re responding to your message now. So you see this. Call me after the show. The show will be over by 10 o'clock. So you can call me and we can talk about it. I'll give you Auntie Wemi's number and she will pick up your case. Because mm -hmm. definitely we want to talk more about issues. Because like these are things that are going on. Keep it quiet. Keep mm. it quiet. Keep don't it tell quiet. anybody about it. And don't tell. And then the truth is most of the people who are predators today were once abused. They kept it to themselves. They were threatened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there's no abused abuser or predator that was born. Mm -hmm. they were not they were made they were mm. influenced they were abused too mm. all right so we also need to get to the point and where they've you used to the to abuse wait. So if you don't break that cycle another predator will emerge they begin with themselves and they take it further and at the end of the day what are we talking about We've been talking to Auntie Wemi about identifying predators, uh, identifying domestic child predators. They are in your environment, they're in your family, they're in your neighborhood, they're in the schools. Some of them were abused in schools. Mm. Uh, you don't want us to share so many stories hmm. that we have heard, that people have sent to us. Of course, you can hear the one that the woman is asking about this morning. But of course, uh, remember that we're still having the bumper breakfast quiz uh, going on. And you get to win one ticket. If you can answer two of those questions correctly, you get to answer uh, two questions of four. There are four of them. Two questions correctly. What you need to do for me is send the answer to 08064738133. Send your answer to 08064738133. You win one ticket for the May 1st Agbuja Fextra concert. You just answer two of the questions correctly and you get the answer all right we had two extra two questions earlier we wanted to know the year 
the Agboja Fex Trust started. We wanted to know two of the comedians that performed at our first edition of Agboja Fex Trust. And we also wanted to know right now the first premiere of Southwest Nigeria mm -hmm. and, of course, the theme of the first uh, Agboja Fex Trust. So these are the questions uh, right there on your screen. You can send the answers to the number that we used for the bumper breakfast uh, this morning and you get to be a part of it. You win one ticket to enjoy the Workers' Day with Agboja Fex Trust concert right here in the city of Lagos. So if you're in Lagos, answer the question and you get to win something from us. Ah, my mm. mom. <laughs> in fact, I am short of words. I feel sometimes saying, eh, if you know what is going <laughs> on <laughs> in my mind, when it comes to the matters of prey and predators, mm -hmm. it's very, happening. very serious. It's serious. Very, very serious. I know a man who <laughs> was our predator when we were young girls, teenagers, and we were growing up. And I always wondered how this our aunt fell in love with such a man. <laughs> <laughs> and um, got the opportunity to do away with the man when she got a um, visa lottery mm. to relocate to the US. Came back years later to come and marry the man. We're still mm. looking at her like. See, that's but today, angle. she almost killed her. Hmm. Hmm. And when she almost killed her in the UK, in the US, the only saving grace she had was the fact that she had a good job. She had hmm. to leave her house. 